A bitter online feud has erupted between the anti-whaling organisation Sea Shepherd and the New Zealand skipper whose protest boat was rammed by a Japanese whaling ship. Pete Bethune has blasted Sea Shepherd and its leader Paul Watson, describing them as dishonest and morally bankrupt. Juliet Speedy reports. Pete Bethune resigned from the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society in an open letter on his Facebook page today. He says he can no longer represent a group that deliberately misleads and lies. It's gradually dawned on me um, how bad they are. Just every sort of month there's another big lie floating around. Bethune was captain of the anti-whaling vessel Aidy Gill that was rammed by Japanese whaling ship the Shonen Maru 2 earlier this year. Bethune boarded the ship to protest, but was arrested and spent four months in a Japanese jail. He was eventually given a suspended sentence and was deported to New Zealand. Bethune now says he was directed by Sea Shepherd Admiral Paul Watson to deliberately sink the AD Gill after it was hit by the Japanese ship. And it was done for PR purposes. And um, after the sinking, I wasn't allowed to talk to anyone about it. I wasn't even allowed to visit Addy Gill. This is Addy Gill's boat. I've sunk it and I've got to keep it a secret from him. Sea Shepherd expelled Bethune during his trial in Japan, but later retracted their comments saying they had done so to help his case. Bethune says that too is lies. And it didn't assist my trial at all. The lawyer said that it, it portrayed me as dishonest. Bithune says senior Sea Shepherd personnel routinely lie and conspire over serious matters, and his resignation letter points out many of these. Three News couldn't contact Watson, but he's sure to have his own take on what's gone from the war on Wales to a war of words. Juliet Speedy, Three News.